Hi, so in this video, we will see how to split arrays with Python NumPy. So first, create a file named demo.py in your text editor and then import NumPy as np. After that, create an array by typing in np a range. Make sure the range is up to 9, then reshape it for 3 by 3 array and then print array a equals to okay also we will create another array by simply multiplying our existing array a twice now let's print out array b okay now now that we have these two arrays let's check out command prompt how they work so array a is from 0 to 8 in 3 by 3 dimension same goes for array b only the values from first array are multiplied by 2 and created this array okay now we will just hide these print statements and go ahead with horizontal splitting so this type of split our array is split into horizontal axis into three pieces so let's use print method then np dot h split and then give it a and 3 okay now open command prompt and let me type in python demo.py and here you will find your array a is horizontally split into three pieces so you will find 0, 3, 6 in 1, 4, 7, 5 in 2, and rest of the value given here. So that's how horizontal cut works. Now, what if you want to do vertical split? In such case, you have to simply change this to vSplit method and run the program again, and you will find vertical split of elements. Okay. There is also one more type of split called depth split. You do that by typing D split and then simply execute the program again. So here you will find error that D split only works on arrays of three or more dimensions. So we have to create three by three shape here. So let's change our existing array into let's say 27 and turn this our A into 3, 3 and 3 dimensional array. And now let's execute the program again. Here you will find your depth split. Okay, so we have seen horizontal split which happens where our code splits array along horizontal axis into three pieces same goes for vertical split where our code split array along vertical axis into three pieces and then depth splitting which requires three or more dimensional array now you can also use one more method called split so let's use that instead of D split let me change this to two dimensional here and I'm going to use split method give it a3 and third value as axis equals to 1 so axis equals to 1 means it is horizontally split now let's execute it again and here you will find horizontal split if you want to have vertical split simply use axis equals to zero 
and now execute the code again and you will find vertical split so now we know how to do splitting of arrays we know how to do horizontal splitting vertical splitting and depth splitting and also how to use split method for doing vertical and horizontal splitting